Hi everyone, it's Lonnie. Welcome back to Grace Blossoms for you. Today I want to work in my ideas journal because I had some ideas. Um, not saying they're mine, but I wanted to keep a, um, a running idea so that I could come and um, glean from it. So one of my favorite things to do now is take tracing paper and like a chromium marker, one that's shiny, a metallic one might work, um, and draw dots. Oh my goodness, I can spend hours doing this. So what I want to do first of all is put this on my page. So I'm going to cut this in half. So the marker I used specifically for this page was from the acrylic paint set, there was a chromium pen in there. It works really well because it has a round tip. I have another gold chromium pen, but it does not have a round tip. It has a chisel point, so I don't think it would make as nice dots. So. gonna put a little bit of glue on here. I don't want it to be too wet. But yeah, this one's a lot of fun to do. In fact, I made some, well, I tried making some faux rice paper out of one of the sheets and um, it works. I mean, it's, I don't know. I might just use it as background. I don't really know what to do with it as rice paper other than that right now. So, but, so there's that in there. So that will remind me to make the dotted paper then I was sewing and I got the idea to put all these labels together. First I did them just to make it easier to cut them apart later. And then I thought, hey, that would make a really cool banner. And so I would have to figure out, I was thinking, I made that one full full size for the page so I couldn't really tie it down anywhere unless I put like eyelets in there or something to tie it down to and that's an idea as well but for now I was thinking I could just attach the first one and the last one So let me try that. So that would be like a, a side banner. Probably put too much glue in there. Oh well. It'll dry. So you get the idea. Oops. It moves because it's not drying. But the inside ones aren't attached, so you've got that. So they're movable. And then I got to thinking you could also do the same thing with other 
things and of course my thinking went immediately to butterflies and I wasn't quite sure how to do those because they have the tips and I wasn't sure how to make it so that they would you could I mean you could just glue it down where the thread is that's one way But I was thinking of another banner to go um, across horizontally. But what did I do here? It's a little hard to keep them all straight. I will say that. And two, you could just do as many as you wanted. So a lot of these butterflies came from free fussy cuts. Sorry, I always say the name wrong. It's a group on Facebook called Fussy Cut Freebies. And they have a lot of things you can download. They just ask that you give them credit, so I want to do that. Um, so this is a string of six, but I thought I had them. I thought I had done them differently. I thought I had them in a group of two and then a group of four, but I guess I'm just going to work with this one. It probably works better if you actually sew part of the wings together. You could do as many as you like, obviously. I just did four. So what I'm going to do, I'll use the other side of the page. So I'm just putting the glue on where I sewed on the back that way they should lay nice and yet they're all attached and of course you can <clears throat> excuse me you can cut the strings off so there's that I don't mind a little bit of the thread hanging, but I don't want it at all. So yeah, a couple of ideas there for you for today. Short video, they can't all be super long. Um, anyways, thanks for tuning in today and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.